into the future, what do you see? I really need to know now, is there a place for me? If we're gonna survive, the dream must stay alive. The are looking for calm throughout the evacuation process. And think of it, Ebony. Every journalist in the world was after this story. And in the end, it was me and Jack who cracked it. So what do you think? You want to publish this. That Denny's dad was the one who created the virus. Yeah. I don't think so. What? Can you imagine what the kids out there would do if they knew Denny was connected with the virus? Are you trying to tell me that you care about what happens to Danny now? You came to me, remember? Because you wanted my advice. Well, I've just given it to you. Don't publish. Not if you know what's good for you. You don't scare me. Celine. What? You up already? I've got things to do. Got a few things in mind myself. Especially if you're thinking of starting a family. Whoa! You two on cooking duty this morning? Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with them? That's Dell. We could put up a bulletin. The bulletin for what? We're going to have a real currency system. At the market, we're going to use tokens. It will be much more safe. Stop all the scraps we've been having with the traders. Sounds fab. Yeah, it's not as if we've got too many rules already or anything. For your information, Tysan, we're putting in place a system that'll stop conflict and fighting. Isn't peace and love your baby? Jack, where's Ellie? What's it to you? I only asked. Well, don't. Don't look screw pets, thanks. There you go. Cheers. What are you doing? This is breakfast, Patsy. Not lunch, not dinner, breakfast. And porridge is what you eat at breakfast, isn't it, Dal? You must be hungry. No one's that hungry. I am. There's plenty of food. Nothing like a bit of peace and love to start the day. Listen, Bray, Danny. Normally, I would be overjoyed to discuss something like this with you in the middle of the night, but it's not the middle of the night, Lex. It's the beginning of the day, and you need to get to work like the rest of us. Nag, nag, nag. We're going to work on an exchange system using tokens. Like, um, in a casino. Casino? And tokens. Yeah. Red, blue, and green. Red are the highest value, and blue... So who decides what costs what? Well, we do. Figures. We're going to keep them here. And when the traders come in at the beginning of the day, we lend them ten tokens. Then they'll trade for profit. And at the end of the day, we have to get the tin back. So, I'll be enchanted, you know, like a bank. Well, in my role as market supervisor, obviously. Hey, wait up. Hey, not so fast, Heartbreaker. 
Oh, don't you start. Well, we've got a problem with being irresistible, have we? What is this? Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, well, if I'm Alice, you're the white rabbit. Watch out for all those tunnels. Oh, come on, Dal. This morning over breakfast, Patsy and Chloe. There's always something up with those two. Best friends, worst enemies, best friends again. Patsy has a tantrum over something basically every day. Yeah, well, lately it's been over you. What? Oh, come on. Deaf, blind and dumb. Of course, you've had a crush of your own to distract you, haven't you? Crush? My little sister? I don't have a crush on Ellie. Oh, of course not. I don't have a crush on Lex. God help me. Really? You breathe a word of it to anyone, I swear. I won't. Honest. You better not. Look, you and Ali, none of my business. But Patsy and Chloe, well, they're at a difficult age. They're practicing on you, you know? Because you're safe, like a big brother. And just make sure you behave like one. I'll give you 10 now, and at the end of the day, you owe me 12. You got it? Lex. Yeah? Where are the volunteers? Oh, I don't know, babe. We need want them to be. So where are the militia? What am I? Missing persons? A market supervisor, perhaps. Oh, is that right? Well, that must be why I hold the means of exchange. Hey, Casey! Hey, Selene. What about Ruby? Who? Oh. A pearl. I like pearl, too. Not as much as Ruby, though. Who's Ruby or Pearl when they're at home? A baby named Selene, you know? Ryan! We'd be such good parents, Sal. I know we would. You're great with babies. Look at how you were with Brady. And I could teach them stuff, you know, when they're older. Not now, Ryan. You had to go and ruin it. You're doing it on purpose. Doing what? You know what. Making Dad like you better, and it isn't fair. He probably likes me better because I don't cry and whine and bellyache all the time. Dad likes a girl with attitude. He doesn't. I don't. I liked him first and you know it. Where are you going? A farm. You can't. We're not allowed out on our own. Petsy, A, I can and I'm going to. B, I'm not going alone. I'm taking Cloudy. I'm coming with you. And C, no, you're not. You can stay here and look after Porky. So, um, Ellie. Be quiet, I'm thinking. Not about this thing about Danny's dad, by chance? None of your business. Look, Ellie, okay, I'm a scientist, and I don't let emotional issues get in the way of the truth. You'll know where I'm coming from then. Well, yeah. And on the other hand, no. When you make up your mind, you be sure to come let me know, Jack. Until then, go away. Ellie, Ellie, seriously? Seriously, it's a bad idea. Not you too. God, Jack, what do you think the news sheet's for? What do we start it for? To, to, to find, find out about the virus? Exactly. And, and, and now we have, so we can put it away and mission's accomplished, so it's, it's fine. What about the public's right to know? Well, what about Danny's right to live? What about you leave me alone and I get on with doing what I have to do? Because I... I, I think you're, you're wrong. I don't, I don't, no, wrong? Wrong in the right way. Wrong for, for really good reasons, but wrong in a really, really right kind of way. Damn. Damn. Hi, Jack. What? Did you and Ellie just have a fight? Patsy, it's not nice to spy on people. It wasn't spying. You were yelling. Couldn't help it if I heard. You'll be looking for a new girlfriend then. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you notice how pretty Chloe looked at breakfast today? Yeah. Get out. Ooh, scary. The thing is, you're not anymore. Scared more. The Great Ebony, leader of the Locos, scourge of the city.
and look at you. You're cowering in a burnt out shop mall with a bunch of kids playing at grown ups. Too scared to stick your own nose out of your own doorway. It's pathetic. What exactly did Spike do to you out there, Ebony? Shut up. Chloe! Chloe, wait for me! I told you not to follow me. I had to come and tell you. Jack and Ellie have broken up. So? They're always breaking up. But you can be Jack's girlfriend now. And he thinks you're really pretty. He told me. No. <sighs> but it'll be perfect. Jack and Dell are best friends, and you and I are best friends. So, you can go out with Jack, and I... No! I like Del better, so there. You only do because I do. I do not! You do! You always spoil everything! <laughs> Sit still of you, Miss Pris, Miss Patsy Perfect! Stop bugging me! It's you who's always bugging me! I hate your guts! Hey, Ryan. Hey, Jack. Uh, Ryan? Yeah? How's things going with you and Celine? They're good, huh? Hey. Ain't it the best, Jack? Loving someone who loves you back. Yeah. Ain't it the best? Jack? Things okay with you and Ali? Fabulous. Huh. Good. It's that stupid new sheet. We keep fine about it and we can't seem to sort it out. I don't know what to do. Jack, you know what? What? You gotta allow for differences with someone you love. You gotta celebrate them. Cause that's who you fell in love with. Someone who believes different things from you sometimes. You know what I mean? Hey, Selene. Hey, good. Right. <laughs> of course, I remember being their age myself. Hormones racing, crushes. Oh, I remember this one boy. What? Nothing. I'm just trying to imagine what sort of kid you must have been. Yeah, big trouble mostly. That's sort of my point. Those two, they're not little kids anymore. A spot of careful handling is called for, Dal. Alice. Still, I'm sure you can deal with it. Of course I can. Without any help from me? I've told you. You're making a big fuss about nothing. I can handle Patsy and Chloe, no sweat. Glad to hear it. Go to it, honey. What? No, no, Alice. Please? Oh, all right, Heartbreaker. You owe me. <sighs> what on earth have you two been up to? Oh, hi. I was just coming to find you. So, what is it you want? I don't know what's going on with you at the moment. But I hate to see you like this. Look, we've been in each other's lives for too long. However much we've fought. So, if you want to talk Look, about it... Look, just give me a break. Without you, the militia... They're hopeless. We need you to lead them. To control the city. I can't do it without you. Ain't that a fact? Ebony, we could work well together. I like the sound of that. Great. Bray, we need to talk about Danny. What's going to happen if Ali publishes that article? Lax. I've got some goods coming in soon. Thought it might interest you. Lex. I still reckon. 
and Dad would have liked me best if it weren't for her. Wouldn't have. Woulda. Hey, hey. I thought we'd been through all of that. Now, this all happened because you want others to know you've grown up, right? The first lesson a woman has to learn is never, ever fight over a man. They're just not worth it. Now, why don't you two shake and make up? Go on. Very good. Well done. Alice? Mm hmm If grown-up women don't fight over men... Yeah? Then what about Trudy and Selene over Bray? Or Trudy and Amber? Or Zandra and Tysand? Uh... Mm. Ellie, as leader of the tribe, I insist you stop this now. Well, yay for freedom of speech. I mean it, Ellie. This has nothing to do with you. This has everything to do with me. Oh, right, because it affects Danny. Because it affects all of us, and as leader. This is about more than one tribe, Bray Little, or one person. This affects all of us. Every survivor has a right to know what happened and why. You go ahead, Ellie. And Danny's life will be in danger. I mean it. All of our lives are in danger all of the time, Bray, because of her father. You can't punish Danny for something her father did. This isn't about Danny! Then ditch it, Ellie. Forget it. Let's get out of here. Look, we'll. We'll take the box down to the casino and we'll just, between us, have to win the tokens back. You think? Well, what else? Problem, Lex? No, no, no problem. Oh, you look worried. Well, I was just concerned for you. You shouldn't be out of bed. You'd look terrible. Those the tokens? Yep, I was just... I'll take them. No way. Look, I'm market supervisor. And I'm head of security. You can't do this! Oh, I think you're wrong, Lex. There most certainly is a problem. What happened? Ask him. Look, I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there minding my own business, and the next thing I know, Ebony's got the box. And the tokens were gone. Yeah. Well, I must have turned my back. It was just for a second. Oh, that's lame, Lex, even for you. One of my men saw him sleeping on the job. That's a lie! That's how the tokens got stolen. Because it was the morning after the night before. Again. Lex. Well, who cares? Living with a bunch of prissy do gooding bleeding hearts like you lot will be enough to make anyone go out and party too hard. And who cares about the tokens? It's not like they're worth anything anyway. Well, thanks for that, Lex. You're fired! You can't do that! Just did! Ryan, you take over. Hey. Of course you. Of course, Bray. I'll do whatever I can. I want you to get on top of this. Find the thief and punish them. This can't happen again. I'm onto it already. He does love us though, doesn't he? Dal. Of course he does. Like family. The same way Bray loves you, Orion. Not the same way you love them though. They're all different kinds of love, I mean, as you girls are finding out. Anyway, I never really loved Bray that way. It was more of an infatuation. Like us and Dal. Mm, like that. I mean, real love, real love's different. It has a different feeling to it. And that's how you feel about Ryan. Night, girls. Night, girls. You see, Sal? You're natural. You should give lessons. You could. Get over it, Ryan.
Hey there, you. Hard day, huh? Nothing I can't handle? Mm-hmm. Lex, you've got a problem. Uh, no. Now, somebody's got a problem, and that's Ebony. I want to know who's greasing her wagon. No, Lex, you have a problem. Things have kind of got off balance for you lately. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, come on, Alice. I just want to have a life. I want to have some fun. Yeah. You look like you were having a lot of fun just now. Hey, we're kids, remember? Teenagers? Or have you been brainwashed too? Remember what being a kid used to mean? Yeah. Before. But Lex, a lot of things meant something different before. Being a teenager used to mean we were, I don't know, rehearsing for something. But now we're running the only show that's left. Lex, you've got a lot of potential. You've got lots of energy, lots of great things to give. Don't blow it. Hi. So your light was still on. Look, Ellie, I really wanted to thank you for keeping the new sheet going in spite of everything. I know how much you hated lying, but the new sheet was crucial during that crazy antidote time. Well, yeah, well, seems like everything might still actually work out, you know? In spite of our little hexes. Our little lexes? <laughs> exactly. Good night, Allie. And thanks. I really do appreciate what you and Jack are doing. Good night. I heard about the meeting. Sounds like you had an interesting time. Is there something you want, Tysan? It's good to see you back on track with the militia. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm just reworking the roster, if you don't mind. Amazing what the right word at the right time can do. Yes. From the right person. Are we going somewhere with this, Tysan? Why don't you just tell him, Ebony? Tell who? What? Bray, how you feel about him? What's wrong, Ebony? Can't handle a little competition? I didn't think I'd see you give up on anything without a fight. 